We've been doing some serious baby proofing around here. Plugs in all the outlets, little pads on the corners of shelves, and of course, these little cabinet latches that keep the little one from getting in all the kitchen cabinets. She pulls all the pots and pans out. God forbid she got to something dangerous, so we're locking this place down, but we left one cabinet open just to keep her occupied and give her a place to play. So here she has plastic and wooden spoons and just things we don't really use so she can hit them against things and throw them around. She actually goes inside this cabinet and plays with this stuff. And as she gets older, she's one year old now, all rebellious, angst-ridden toddlers need kind of a bigger place to call their own. They need some privacy. And so we're gonna move her into the liquor cabinet over there. All right, so over here is our liquor cabinet. We don't drink a lot, so it just kind of sits there. It's a bigger cabinet, and so we're gonna take all the liquor out of here, probably put it in the smaller cabinet, and then we're gonna make this into like a toddler teenager room. So first things first, we're gonna remove these child locks because when we're done here, she's gonna be able to come and go as she pleases. All right, so works like a normal cabinet now, but as babies do, she likes to slam it. And so I'm gonna install soft close adapters and these are gonna make it so that it closes a little bit softer. Yeah, that's definitely gonna stop her from slamming her finger. These are pretty stout. So now that the cabinet is accessible and safe, I wanna put these padded tiles on the floor here. I guess no matter how you do it, there's always this on the outside. So maybe we'll use the table saw. I just wanna say, that worked absolutely perfectly. Can't see any of it, open it up, it's baby world. Okay, so right here, we've got lights on so that you can see into the cabinet, but when little Miss Rebecca's in here, she's not gonna have lights, so we have to make her one. First of all, I've got this little tap light, which takes batteries. I don't want her to turn it on like this. I want her to turn it on with a real household light switch. So I can use this opportunity to show you how a circuit works. So this is a nine volt battery and it's inside of a little box so that the wires are hooked up. It just makes it easier to work. This is a little light. And you can see this is the positive end and this is the negative end. And you can see if I just twist these wires together, boom, we got a light. So that's a circuit and it's in a big loop. It's in a circle. So if we cut part of that loop, the circuit is interrupted and it stops. That's what a switch does. A switch cuts a circuit and reconnects a circuit. So now all you have to do is make the same circuit with this light, which is gonna go into the baby liquor cabinet. First thing I gotta do is take this apart and get down to the wires. I don't have a wire, but I have an old USB cable. This probably got some wire inside of it. And it's nice and protected. Oh, look at all those wires. Okay, so just to make it easy, we'll use the black and red wire. So we wanna connect these wires to here, but we don't wanna just twist them together. We want kind of a better connection than that. I'm gonna use these little heat shrink solder connectors. So what we do is we put one of these connectors on each wire, then to connect them together, we just apply heat to it. So you hit it with the heat gun, the solder inside of here melts and fuses the wire together. The heat shrink tubing shrinks and that's it. You have a nice insulated secure connection. So now the remaining wires we're gonna connect here to make them a little more durable. I'm gonna tin them. We can just connect any side of this battery to the light switch. stuff everything into here. Cool. So we'll mount this baby light switch. Let there be light. So that's it, her little baby playroom has a light and it's a big one, just like the grown-ups have. So that's super cool. Now, we have to personalize this a little bit. It's just a room. The walls are really bare. So I wanna put posters of all her heroes up here, but 
because she's a baby, she'll end up just ripping the posters down. So we're gonna use vinyl stickers. And we have a way to do that now. Because she's gonna start getting rebellious and angsty, I think she's gonna start having reservations with the Paw Patrol. Everybody's got a problem with the Paw Patrol until they're hanging from a bridge somewhere. All right, I cut these pieces of wood earlier. They're all sanded down. I'm gonna show you what they're for. So each of these pieces of wood has a little slant cut right over here, and then it's got pocket holes in the bottom. So if we put it up against something flat, it tilts up. So we're gonna put these on the wall, and she's gonna be able to roll this little ball down and it'll go from one to the other. I'll show you. Let's test it first. So this one comes down. This definitely takes some, some doing. Down a little bit. There we go. Proof of concept. All right, so it's like an educational toy. I don't think at one she's gonna get the concept right away, but if I show her a few times, she'll eventually be able to do it. I think it's cool. So now we put the rest of her kitchen toys in here, AKA spoons and things like that, and we let her discover it. All right, let's see how it goes. Look what we got you. Ready? What is all that? What's in there? Rebecca, look at this. Watch. <laughs> See, he touched that. That's how mommy and daddy turn the lights on and off. All right, so the baby liquor cabinet seems to be a great success. It's gonna keep her occupied while we're doing parent things in the kitchen. She's got all her idols, she's got her toys. She's got a nice padded floor. These doors aren't gonna slam on her fingers, and she even has a light switch, just like the grown-ups use. Oh, no, 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 you can't eat the, no, you can't eat the tin foil. Sorry, sweetie. If you have any reservations about the safety of this, just keep in mind, she's one, she tries to climb on the banister on the outside of our stairs. This is really, really safe, trust me. I know this is a little bit different, but the trails are wet, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I hope you enjoyed it, whether or not you have kids, and if not, I hope you at least learned something. Thanks for riding with me today and I'll see you next time.